Lion Princess here, and welcome back to Imp Headquarters. Today, we're going to be discussing the newest Hell of a Boss episode, Mammon's magnificent mid-season special, Feet Fizzerali. And just a quick heads up for anyone who doesn't know, this is going to be the last episode we get this year, but man, what a ride. What an episode to go out on. Obviously, being the mid-season special, I expected this episode to have some amazing musical numbers and some really fun, exciting things. And this episode definitely didn't disappoint. So, the first thing I kind of want to discuss is Asmodeus. I already really liked his vibe and his thought process on a lot of things from the last episode, oops, but this episode absolutely has me sold on him as a character. Being the embodiment of lust, I think a lot of people, including myself, had a very stereotypical view on him him, especially after his performance in Ozzy's, but I love the spin that Ozzy, though he is the embodiment of lust, he shows all the good sides of it. He knows how to do what is best for himself in the relationship and for his partner. Even in the very beginning of the episode, I really loved this scene in particular. Let me rephrase. I don't like how many creeps you have now, thanks to Mammon. And I don't like designing sex toys with your likeness for him. Pretty sure you feel the same. We see here that Ozzy is definitely very frustrated with what has been going on between Fizz and Mammon, and he likely has been frustrated with it for a good while. But he doesn't really get mad at Fizz. He makes himself heard and is definitely direct about it, and even when he doesn't convince Fizz, he doesn't get angry or demand Fizz not to go to the pageant. Instead, Instead, he reaches out to someone who he thinks is a bit more capable to help Fizz with this situation. I don't know, it's just little things like that about his character that I really like. On that note though, I do absolutely love that Ozzy went to Blitz. Obviously, Fizz explained to Ozzy everything that happened in Oops, so Ozzy knows that their relationship is complicated, but he acknowledges how important Blitz is in Fizz's life, and Blitz doesn't hesitate to help. I've kind of discussed this a little bit before, and I'll definitely go into it way more in depth when I do my character analysis on Blitz, but ultimately he cares deeply for everyone in his life. Of course, Blitz doesn't come right out and say that. He definitely played very coy about it, which he has definitely been known to do. Things Things between Fizz and Blitz are definitely still very complicated, but it is really nice to literally see both of them making a bit of an effort. Even after Blitz calls Mammon out, which definitely made Fizz uncomfortable since his job was on the line, he doesn't immediately tell Blitz to leave. And of course, on Blitz's end, he calls things as he sees them, especially after he sees that Mammon is actually affecting Fizz's health, and he realizes just how toxic things are. You could just kind of see Blitz and Fizz kind of uh, fall back into how they used to be a little bit. Then there's Mammon. As his debut episode, this really did not disappoint. As the embodiment of greed, he's definitely just as vile as I expected him to be. We definitely have not seen the last of Mammon. And I definitely don't think his threats are empty. Though I'm very glad that Ozzy and Fizz don't have to hide their relationship anymore. It'll definitely be interesting to see how things pan out from here, especially for Asmodeus. 
A lot of things could come from this. All right, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room, Fizz's stalker. Boy, was this super uncomfortable. Honestly, from the very beginning, it was such a unnerving vibe, especially seeing how uncomfortable Fizz was. The only comfort being that Blitz was there with him. I don't know, at this point in the series, even though he messes things up all the time, Blitz is just a comforting presence to me. I don't know, like, every time a character is in trouble, if Blitz is there or nearby, I'm just like, nah, it'll be fine, Blitz is there. And man, was I so glad that Blitz was indeed the one to kill this guy. This is such a real thing for celebrities, entertainers, anybody who has any type of fame. And I think that's what's so unnerving about it. Especially seeing Fizz's reaction and his reaction to any of his fans in general. He definitely doesn't like interacting with them, but then he turns around and has such a genuine, heartfelt moment with this child, the two of them using ASL to communicate. I absolutely loved this, this scene was beautiful, showing just how caring Fizz can be, and that even though Fizz has a very particular image thanks to Mammon, he still has genuine fans who just like him because he's funny. Honestly, I really have to hand it to the character designs for this episode. Helva Boss is super known for having very cool background characters and just a bunch of character designs that stick out, even though a lot of these characters have like zero lines. But this episode definitely showed that off in full. From the pageant to the concert in the beginning of the episode, we got a chance to see a bunch of background characters, as well as new minor characters introduced. I just think the team has a lot of fun designing these random characters. And the music for this episode, oh my goodness. I pretty much love all the songs Velva Boss. Two different degrees maybe, but all of them sort of have their place to me. But I definitely feel like with this episode they have reached a new level. I love seeing all the different styles of music they have and the different ways they incorporate it. Since the songs in this episode were mainly performances, the choreography was also absolutely on point. Just some super fun visuals and dance routines that we haven't really gotten to see that much of in the show. And man, are these songs catchy. I especially loved Fizz and Ozzy's love song just because it was so fitting for them them and their relationship. It's been nice focusing on Fizz and Ozzy's relationship these past two episodes, and I just love it when Ozzy sings. James Agglehart just does so good. Speaking on voice actors though, I really have to give this episode to Alex Brightman. These past couple of episodes, he's really been able to showcase just what a voice acting beast he truly is and just the overall level of care he puts into his performance as Fizzerali. The way he tackled Fizz's anxiety attack was really masterfully done in my opinion, as well as pulling off the musical performances for this episode. But beyond that, a lot of his line delivery was just super on point and funny. <laughs> Sus, babe. At this point, it will probably be at least a couple episodes before we get to see Fizzerali and Osmodius again, but I am honestly super glad as to what direction these characters kind of ended up going in. I was definitely pretty skeptical as to how much I would like them, but honestly, uh, they really have me excited for some other minor characters to get some more development. Some that I didn't really care for all that much, just based off their first appearance. 
because this show definitely has a big emphasis on subverting expectations. Overall, this was just a fantastic episode. The conflicts had me at the edge of my seat. Seeing Ozzy and Blitz work together to help Fizz was really cool and honestly unexpected. Just a great episode to end the year on. The next episode we get is going to be Full Moon, so I'm very excited for that one. But I'm definitely not expecting it until, like, March at the earliest, considering we're getting season one of Has Been in January. I think they'll want us to sit with that for a little bit. And honestly, I want to sit with that for a little bit. With that being said, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this episode, your predictions as to where things will go from here. Definitely let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel content. Things are going to get wild, so definitely stay tuned for all the craziness to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.